हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माई चैनल माई सिल्पर जामुलकर इन प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हाउस इन लूप स्ट्रक्चर इन सिपलर प्लस प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज सो इन प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हाउस इन फॉर लूप वाइल लूप एंड डू वाइल लूप इन दिस वीडियो विल सी स्पेशल टाइप ऑफ फॉर लूप इट इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज एनहांस फॉर लूप इट इज कॉल्ड एज अ रेन बेस्ड फॉर लूप इट इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज फॉर इच लूप दिस लूप दिस स्पेशल टाइप ऑफ फॉर लूप इज एडेड इन सी प्लस प्लस वर्जन इलेवन सो इट इज एडेड इन सी प्लस प्लस इलेवन नाउ सी वट इज द यूज ऑफ दिस फॉर इच लूप एंड हाउ इट सिंप्लीफाई फॉर लूप दैट विल से सो विल राइट कोड फॉर दिस सो विल क्रिएट वन प्रोग्राम वन फाइल विल क्रिएट लूप स्ट्रक्चर फोर डॉट सी पी वी सिंपल कोड आई विल एड हियर हैश इंक्लूड आई विल स्ट्रीम यूजिंग नेम स्पेस एस टी डी नाउ सी एंटीजर मेन now see here i am writing this for and this is a for block now see normally here what we write initialization condition increment and decrement right these three things we mention here in general for loop right in enhance for loop or for each loop what we are doing we are mentioning like this integer or any variable see how we are writing variable variable and here array r any range so let's see now how it will execute variable for each variable from this array it will execute see so if it is a array so for first element in that array it will run second element in that array again it will run third element in that array are then it will run likewise better we will take one example integer i and here we will put some array so see here i am putting name of the array r and we will define that array integer r and uh, we'll create one array so see some elements i am adding there 20 10 we should not require it is not required to put in sequence any any sequence you can put suppose i am adding 40 then 50 25 something like this five elements i have added here right now see for every element in this array this loop will run and suppose here i am adding one statement see our statement i am adding here suppose we will put something like this here we will print value value is equal to and that value will take from i right so see every time we are printing value of i right now see we will see the output we will compile our code loop structure 4.cpp so no compilation error now a that will run our code tab enter now see we got this output right value is equal to i so value is equal to 20 value is equal to 10 value is equal to 40 value is equal to 50 value is equal to 25 how we got this output see this loop will run like this for i first value in r so 20 right so that's a value is equal to 20 value is equal to 20 then next value i will be 10 that's a value is equal to 10 then next value will be 40 right the so 40 then 50 50 right 25 25 likewise we got this result now see suppose uh, i am commenting this directly if you put range here let us see this range i am copy and directly i am putting here so likewise also we can mention in for each loop so see instead of creating array and to mention this array name here Directly, I have mentioned this range. So see, again, we will compile it. No compilation error, and we will run. So see, same output we got, right? So directly, we have mentioned this range. So likewise, also we can mention in our for each loop. Now see, so this is integer array, right? So in next example, what we will do? We will create one character array, and let us see how it will work. Char, some name I am giving. Is equal to suppose a, then b, c, d. Okay, so four characters here I am taking. Now see, I am writing for loop, and this will be our code, right? Now see here I am saying so it is char, right? Why char? Because we are taking elements from here, right? So here see again I am taking char i, and that should be from x, right? So x is an array, 
and see this loop will run for the first value in x for the second value of x for the third value of x likewise okay so for every value in x that loop will run so see uh, we'll put some message there so see out here we'll mention character is equal to okay and the character here will print and l right now see i have saved so we'll compile it okay and now we'll run it so see previously we got these values and now we got this character values right so in this case we have taken this character array in previous case we have taken integer array in the same way this for each loop we can use for vector set and map for them also we can use for each loop so friends i hope you like this video if it is then click on like subscribe to the channel and don't forget to press bell icon so that you will get notification of my next video so stay connected thank you